And so Lincoln at this time started getting all high and mighty about preserving the Union, right? Uh, it wasn't about preserving the state's rights. It wasn't preserving about the right of a state to secede. No, it was about preserving the Union. And what's interesting is if you read through Lincoln's speeches um, and the stuff he said, what you'll find is that Lincoln seems to think that the that the Union and that, that the Constitutional Union preceded the states, not the other way around. Uh, he seems to believe that the unity of the states is what led to the Constitution as opposed to, you know, the Constitution uh, putting in place the government which, you know, and, and the states being uh, their, own, their own deal. Now, he believed in the, uh, un in the unity of the states which preceded the Constitution, okay, and this is I, I'm not even going to waste time with this. This is just a, a horrible view of history. Lincoln's view of history, of, of early American history, is just retarded. So I'm not even going to waste time, uh, you know, even with the response of, of such a, a, a dickish interpretation of history as Lincoln's. So, yeah, and so that was his view of history. And the reason he had this view of history is so that the uh, union of the states preceded the Constitution was so that he could say that the United States was a union at its outset, which is just, of course, not true. If you read history, you'll read that you know, people go, were marching off to war not as Americans, but as Virginians, not as Americans, but as Massachusettsians, or, or uh, however, whatever they call themselves in Massachusetts. And, and so they were not, and so the United States was not a union at its outset. It was a confederation at its outset. And and, and Lincoln's full of crap in that in that regard. But the reason he had this view of history was so he could, you know, say some. So it was so he could make it into a spiritual crusade to preserve the Union. And uh, the reason why the Union needs to be preserved, why there's something so sacred about the Union, is not made quite clear. Although if we although we do know that it corresponds almost perfectly with Lincoln's self interest. To preserve the Union because it would save the tariffs and which would of course save his corny ass and he was of course willing to uh, let a hundred hundreds of thousands of men get murdered and get their bodies maimed and and force conscription on people and and, and all the, and all the you know the horrible things that go along with war Sherman's March and all that stuff he was willing to do all that so he could save his corny ass which is what it all amounts to all right and that's Lincoln now, Lincoln's a horrible man and the Lincoln Memorial is hate speech is is a, is, is a hateful monument. It, it it it's equivalent to a memorial of you know of like the uh, the the Lincoln Memorial is about as reprehensible as would be a memorial for like a concentration camp manager. Right. That that's how bad it is. So. Um,